Days stats. How many maps? What's the win percentage for Atlanta Days, Shio? 80%. 80%? Flat 80. So we didn't we didn't keep track of these types of stats. Um, but I would love... Shio, bullfrog. Oh, there's a bullfrog emerges. Emerges is one of those players that does use the bullfrog. Um, that I do remember specifically pulling it out. Um, but to go through the roster real quick, LAG is going to be represented by Exotic, Emergence, RTF, COD, and Original Hitman. Uh, Buku is unfortunately has stuck at work, so he's not playing here for his team. On the other side, Atlanta Day is going to be Swift, Poncho, Big Foo, and Slick. So there's going to be your team. These two guys are going to be going at it, and right out of the gate, Atlanta Dazed set up on P1 and ready. Because there you go. I mean, Poncho is going to go down inside the hill. The players from LAG trying to break around from the side. They haven't really succeeded in getting back to the kitchen side of the map, but, I mean, they're just getting dropped left, right, and center. Finally, they're going to pick up some time in the hill. Uh, but, it, I mean, there's only three seconds to go before we head over towards kitchen, so... Gonna see how this transition works out for the side of LAG. When the hill pops, the score was double in favor of the Atlanta Days, and you're gonna see they're holding control pretty nicely right now. Slick is starting off five and nine, so on that hot streak, wanna see if some streaks do come up on the side of Slick. It looks like this is a pretty nice back push for LAG here, and I don't know if Atlanta Days is completely prepared for it. Slick is gonna get the call out that they're all in the back, and RTF Ka is gonna get the perfect timing. LAG is gonna break within 30 seconds. And this is a good time. Yep, I mean, LOG just locked it down. They broke in through the front, and there you go. The kills are all going their way. RTF is on a four spree right now, and Emergence on a three spree of his own. So, I mean, there you go. That is going to be LAG picking up all this time. 13 seconds to go. The rotation is going to start. You can see the players heading over here towards the garage as we're getting ready for P3 as Hitman. Well, I'll pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> Clearly, Hitman uh, gave us control to Clayster, and Clayster is uh, sabotaging already, but you're going to see Atlanta Days getting control of the hard point pretty early. And this is going to be a big break here for LAG. I like that they're waiting here. I like that you see two players waiting, although they're going to get a little overeager. They're going to push. They're going to fall three, go down. And now LAG has to regroup. Is Hitman going to push as well? Looks like he will. And, oh my goodness, Atlanta is pushing out all the important spots right now. They're holding this rather well. And I didn't know Swift could spawn there. Looks yeah, like Emergence just ran right through the front door, though, and, oh, that's unfortunate. Ended up getting killed before the nade went off, but that nade probably would have killed him anyway. As, uh, it is going to be Poncho working his way through the middle of the map. And I'm hearing in the chat as well that Mr. Person, their captain, will be subbing in for map two. So Atlanta pulling some, uh player swapping stuff that we don't see too much of but i guess it works out for them as i mean swift is gonna head over here this is oh that was a great nade there out of emergence here as big Foo working around the back isn't be able to find the second set of kills so lag is gonna hold strong right now with all four players hitting from the front door we're gonna see if what original hitman is gonna do about this yeah, he's going to shoot the basketball towards him. It's a little bit of distraction. I learned that one way back when. Emergence actually not going to see that player jump out of kitchen window. It's possible that's a field of view thing, that our field of view is a little bit higher than his. So that might be a reason that you just saw the that The kill happen. feed is all lit up purple. Yeah. It's that's all LAG hold. right now. This is such a huge hold here for LAG. 20 seconds left on the clock. They're going to be, I believe, you know, I, I believe they're going to hold the remainder of this time, and they should be about one point if the tick goes in their favor from tying so we can head into this p5 hard point as a really close game what i want to see right now there's still two players left on the old hard point one of them needs to push out there's a full control happening here on the side of atlanta days with this new hard point and you're going to see that their big flu takes down one i believe slick took down the other but you're going to see now lag didn't really have the time to push out a hold and it's kind of showing in the fact that Atlanta Days is holding a lot of map control right now Yep, but I mean, right as we say that, LAG is going to fly in. The trades are all going to go their way, and Emergence is going to hop inside the hill. Players from Atlanta are going to join them, but down they go, as it's all going to be on Big Foo from the kitchen right now, as he's going to hold back, try to regroup with his teammates. Swift is going to win the fight over towards Statue. Uh, so it's just still Emergence here, but I mean, LAG has... Emergence. Well, I mean, he was... That was a nice finesse there for a moment, but then he goes down 18 seconds to go. Atlanta will probably retake the lead with this hill 
as we're going to turn our attention towards P1 again. But LAG is not in the most favorable position here with their spawns. They're not in the most favorable position when it comes to spawns. When you look at map control, they just got three dead. You're going to see Emergence pushing up. That's another kill. That's huge right there on the side of LAG. Yes, they don't have the spawns that they want for P2. Not even for P1, really. But look at how far LAG is getting pushed up. You've got Emergence top laundry. He's going to fall. Oh. As he jumps right into the bullets of Swift. He's going to take him down rather swiftly. Well, Swift ah, gets his ankles ah, blown ah. out from under him. As Poncho is going to charge in the point next, RTF is going to go down. Big Fu with a huge two piece there from the pillars. I, I as LAG is going to go three down. Rotate. I really want to see one of these players off spawn rotate. It looks like it's going to be Hitman who's going to hit through mid. I, someone go pool here off spawn. Uh, I, I really need to see, you know, Hitman or someone. Just, you're not going to really be able to break here through the wall of Atlanta Days. As I say that, I guess I'm going to get proven <laughs> wrong. The caster curse the caster emerges caster once curse again. Right. I mean, there you go. That's going to be the kills for the side of LAG. LAG gets complete control of the hard point with, what, 15 seconds left? And what do they do? They form a little square around it. Guys, you got, you have to rotate. Yep, well, I mean, no one from Atlanta is actually in the hill, so, I mean, it doesn't look like LAG is too late to this party as they're going to line up here for Big Foo as Poncho is going to find two. Big Foo finds one more. That's three down from the side of LAG. Last player is going to be RTF Ka here over towards Kitchen who finds two. But with the close spawns, Atlanta can reinforce this so much faster than LAG. So again, this is kind of a repeat of uh, of what we saw at the very beginning, right? Where you do have the player like Atlanta with the early uh, with the early start on towards P2. So we're gonna see if LAG can break this in again because they did break last time. But it's a matter of well, can they find the correct angles here as they are grouping up for this push? But Swift, Swift from the front door is gonna keep going. Yeah, this is this has been a really strong hold here out of Atlanta Days. Again, it kind of comes off of a rather poor response or rotation rather from LAG. You're gonna see LAG getting set up for new, but with a players, a couple players falling, you're gonna see how far they're gonna spawn out. As you have two players from LAG spawning on the old hard point. Exotic, it's all on exotic, it's all on exotic. He's gonna get not gonna get the fourth, but his teammates are gonna spawn close. LA, Atlanta Days gonna spawn ringside, but LAG is gonna continue to get the important kills here. What really matters right now are these kills that are happening outside of the weight room. Poncho trying to contest. LAG players spawning back apartments trying to get through. You can see how much closer they're spawning. The bullfrog re-emerges from emergence. He's going to get taken out. This is just so back and forth right now. But I believe with that, LAG should control the hard point. You're going to see finally Swift deciding to push around the back. This is a, such a key play as you need those players from LG to stop spawning there, but look who it is. It's Emergence, already rotated basketball. Yeah, I mean, it ex that that entire hill was literally was exotic. It was basically that play that we just saw where Exotic picked up all three inside the hill before it popped, and that gave LAG all the time. I mean, they're about to lose the lead here again because they didn't have the rotation here towards P4. But that picking up that entire time there from the from garage was absolutely massive for LAG. Yeah, what you're gonna see right now, I actually really quite like that push coming in from the top side. You have two players from LAG up top. One did get taken down, but you're gonna see two more go down on the side of Atlanta Days. The issue again comes in the rotation. They're not rotating early enough, and when they do, it, it's only, it was only Emergence who rotated, but the Rocket gonna come in there from Swift, has the artillery as well to boot. Don't want to use that on P5 as those trees, I do believe, even though we haven't confirmed that one yet, Shio, I do believe those trees still block quite a substantial amount. Yeah, um, it, pro it probably provides enough cover, honestly. Yes. I mean, it, it did before, I, I feel like it's probably the exact same. But I mean, this is going to be the last of the time going in favor of LAG. They will take the lead by one I point by the time tied, this flips it? over. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be exactly tied, but Atlanta Dazed with three kills in mid are going to secure the early time here on this hill. I you mean, know, it's going to come this... down to this unless they can contest it long enough. It's so interesting. This hard point just feels like it shouldn't be easy to hold at all. It should feel like it's like a very difficult hard point to gain control over. But what you really have here is an example of how the teamwork can thrive. You're going to see one player go oh, down. A team, team kill that's comes here in as well. Three down on the side of LAG. And Atlanta Days, after getting booted off of the basketball hard point, they're going to put all their players around P5. They're going to take the win 250 to 218. LAG trying to, their best to come back.
thanks to an amazing showcase here from Exotic on that Garage Hill. But it's not going to matter. Atlanta Days take your map one. 250, 218. And here's that three piece. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what these uh what these guys are gonna pull out as Atlanta Dazed also is doing a mid map substitute or mid map substitution. Swift is gonna be out for Mr. Person, so Captain Mr. Person is in. And right out of the gate, LAG swinging their way towards B. And what do we see out of emergence yet again? It's another bullfrog. Poncho with the MP5. These are not the guns. They ran right by each other. Meta. They did, but Big Foo is gonna get one, Poncho's gonna get the other. 2v4 right off the rip for LAG and look they're they're backtracking right now. Yep, they're uh they're going, oh hang on a sec, but they've already lost so much map presence too out of this. So I mean the net is closing, it's gonna be RTF COD last alive here. You know, 1v3 needs the ace to clutch this one up as the shots go down. Actually finds a second there on a big foo. Is gonna fall back. The two root like players this, I like are this. mid. I like this out of Atlanta. His teammates were very, very far back mid, but they grouped up for a second. I don't like that they split up here. RTF COD in the 1v2 actually is in a position where he can get a kill and maybe get out with his life. And the key here is taking a gunfight where you don't lose a lot of health and he's not going to check mid pillars. I don't know if he was seen, but he's going to put the bomb down with his back towards one player. I, I, I don't think, think he's going to get song. taken down here. I think he gets taken down while rotating out. He's going to get out alive. RTF God has the potential to do this 1v1. He's oh, going to he take it. Oh, he gets one on the He didn't slick. get hit. He didn't get hit either. He didn't get hit. It's going to be slick last alive in the 1v1. The shots go down. RTF God with the 1v4. The 1v4. Wow. Round. Oh, my God. RTF God. How? How? How does he not get hit on the first gunfight? How do the teammates not push together? How does this happen? RTF God goes big. Look at that two-piece. He has no health. His health bar is empty. Somebody has to clip that because, oh, crap, that was a way to start a map. What a way to make a statement. Atlanta dazed. Looking like that they were on their way to continue the momentum out of map one and RTF... It says, nope, not today, friends. It picks up the 1v4 ace. Shoot, that was I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> As original Hitman is going to kick things off with first blood on the slick here. As the, a put, or the B side push has been relatively stalled out. Emergence is going to overpeak, though. He will get caught and dropped. So oh, 3v3, 3v3, 3v3. RTF there. As this After was a man that. advantage for LAG, but the flank coming in. Exotic, Exotic. finds two. Exotic's looking for a third. Isn't going to do it, but the, the trade, trade is, is there. there. That's that's a beautiful round there out of LAG. Yes, they got the early man advantage. Yes, they did give it up, but Exotic here with a good flank. Going to pick up one. There's the second. Going to see. Uh, the hit markers don't seem to be appearing on the screen, but I promise you they were there. And you're going to see a second round out of LAG. Uh, RTF COD, I, you know, even when they give up the man advantage there, you saw RTF, he wasn't like he was over challenging or anything. He got spotted top laundry window and was just doing his best to stay alive. The wall bank comes in and he gets taken down there. So, you know, it, it's not like, you know, a lot of those 1v1s or 1v2s where you'll see a player just kind of give their life away. You know, it, it was uh, a retreat and just unfortunately the wall bank comes in. So, LAG is going to pick up another first blood here. Exotic is going to get taken down. The trade doesn't seem to be there. And I think, oh my God, who is this? Emergence and Mr. Person just get walking by each other mid. And I think this might be, this is looking pretty darn good right now for Atlanta days. But as I say that, it's going to drop back to a 2v2. And those are some nice shots there out of original Hitman. Yep. Also, um, this is completely off topic here. Uh, but I did just get an update from the bracket. Old guy Chicago is out. The number one seed, the only 7-0 team in Silver Mixed, fell 3-2 to Seattle. Oh my. So they're out. That breaks that side of the bracket wide open here. But yes, back to what we're actually seeing here. It is a 2v2. Poncho and Slick versus RTF and Original Hitman. As, I don't know, Hitman trying to cross here. Might get some ridiculous timing here with Slick. But, I mean, RTF's looking the other way. And Poncho's also looking the other way. So nobody's looking towards the bomb here. Slick is going to catch Hitman. So yeah, it's so going to be RTF in a 1v2. has been in this position before. 
Yep, he's done it once. Looking and to do know, it again. They know. Look, they know exactly where to look for him. He's gonna get one. He he's finds one! Him. He didn't see him! Slick got off the bomb though! Oh, and that's gonna give away the position. Slick has to get a kill here. It's not like he can just wait. And RTF Ka just has to pick the oh. right angle. There's only one way to look. He just has to keep the gun up. Sacrifices the trophy to make sure the nade doesn't get him too weak. And the push from Slick doesn't kill him. Absolute phenomenal plays coming out of rtf cod if you you know what lag if you want to win offenses just plant on the other side uh plant on the opponent side of b and rtf cod will win you the round anyway six and one a 1v4 a 1v2 rtf cod right now is having a monster of a game absolutely i mean the clutches right now are absolutely massive from the side of lag as they go up 3-0 now so atlanta day is trying to make this b hit work LAG dedicated three players towards A. I don't know if this was a, like a meta game here, or what exactly. A, a blind they, I mean, they tried to like do a blind counter here. It didn't pay off. Emergence might get a free pick here onto Poncho. If not, some yeah. There's the tags at least, and there's the kill. You're gonna see another. That's another first blood. I think all but one. Oh no! Is, oh, the team kill comes team in. Team kill comes in. Our team's been traded out. Mr. Personnel in the 1v2, so it's his turn to go huge. Exotic. Oh, that's a huge nade. Oh, by the nade, and, and the shots are there him. on the cube. That, that was a cube. Easy. Yeah, okay. Well, that was For a second, I thought it looked like a, a different gun. But yeah, the nade absolutely is what won Mr. Person this round. There's one kill. The team kill comes in as well from LAG, so that definitely doesn't help their case. That player up there had 10 health, and there's just some nice shots out of Mr. Person. Gonna put the 1v3. So, Shio, we've had a 1v3, a 1v2, and a 1v4 this game. All right. Now we need a round. The fourth so, round. round 11, 1v1. Round 11. That's one. how you're going to close this one out. 1v, 1v5 for the round 11. The Codcaster is going to swan in and it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be something crazy. But this is a person. It's gonna, look at this aggressive push out of LAG here. Exotic. Another first blood for LAG. They get... One, they, they go down three lives in the first round without getting a pick. And since then, they've gotten first blood every round. Yep, well, RTF knows Mr. Person is over here somewhere, is chasing. As he's going to hop up, and Mr. Person's actually going to win that I don't on know a about five that streak there, right now. Shio. I don't know about their challenge right there. I think, I think he thought he had Mr. Person caught off guard, or either wasn't expecting Mr. Person to be paying attention to it. Um, yeah, but it's possible Mr. He Person, Mr. five streak. <sighs> It's look possible for him to stay Mr. alive. Person was was looking out like you know mid window, like looking out towards mid with that window push. But it's just such a difficult gunfight to take when you have to mantle and hit, oh, and he had hit the from bomb. the back there. Yeah, he, he had, had the bomb. bomb. He's really actually, gonna yeah, I realized, yeah, yeah that was a bad situation. And that's really that's where the push kind of falls apart. There is because RTF pushes up top window with bomb. It just makes life a lot harder once going down because down. Guess what? The bomb's up top. You gotta play. You have to play like the player is still up there. If you are original hitman, you cannot just assume that that player has left because it's such a power position. And because of that, that's gonna be another round in the favor of Atlanta Days down 3-0, bringing it back to three two. And Mister Person on a five streak. Yep, look to him to kind of try to stay his alive, play his life here some more. Maybe his teammates can bait out for him because those streaks will be absolutely massive. But another first blood for LAG. Yeah, and there goes and Mr. There Person, goes gonna shut down the streak. Three Exotic's down, gonna get Poncho. one. Poncho on the 1v4. Can Poncho do it? I believe. We've had one, let's do two. Let's, let's just give me a heart attack. Yep, why not? I mean, everyone's charging his way, though, and he's not gonna get any of them as down he goes. LAG, take the lead 4-2. Four, 4-2. Two. Four, two, as honestly, man. this just fell apart from the side of Atlanta so quickly. And the that Craig kill here is, the from Craig Emergence six. was huge. It was the Craig Sixes that opened the round up. Two kills right off the rip for both from a Craig Six. You saw uh, Exotic with the two piece, I believe, with the SMG there. If I will say, Mr. Person, I, I don't know if you like the Craig Six or not, but I'm kind of surprised you go up top art with a QBZ. And look at this aggressive push here. Exotic gets beamed. RTF is going to trade it out. Now they have to play like, they, like Atlanta knows exactly where they are because guess what? They do. Does Mr. Person check this close corner? It looked like he quick checked it, but didn't see the player that was there. And Emergence is going to get a kill with a Milano. 
That's the third SMG emergence has pulled out on this map. I as as you, we've seen the bullfrog, we've seen a 74U, the Milano. Now I want an MP5. Uh, but slick, it, it's going to be a 2v3 retake here, and from Atlanta, this is going to be so difficult. Especially, he's not going to check this. He's not going to see him. Such Actually smart, reacted in time, but didn't succeed. Such and a there smart you go. Play there out of emergence. I really like that spot. You're you're relying that the player won't check that because honestly, who would? And also, the gun barrel is possibly going to obstruct the view of your of your blot body while you're laying prone like that. Yeah, it is a little bit of a risk. But yeah, I believe it was a 3v2. You had bomb down and you had really good post plant positioning. Again, I, I can't really find the stat because I'm not keeping track of it. But at least in the CDL, when you plant A on raid, you have I think it was something like an 80% win rate uh, for the team something that plants like the bomb. That. Yeah. Something absolutely insane. You're going to see Emergence pushing, getting a real aggressive middle. He's going to get taken down. Uh, if he goes through the middle of the map, that P5 area probably would have stayed alive decided to hit towards b i guess now leg does have the information at the very least that hey it's an a hit and you're gonna see hitman get taken down there is a player on the bomb because i didn't see the player on the bomb but poncho hops off of it only has a little bit of health to work with right now but this is a 2v2 yep i mean it's like working up top the bomb hasn't gone down yet and actually yeah poncho not in a safe spot to play with that player back uh in the back over by basketball court there, but they don't know where this other player is. They haven't seen Hitman in quite a while. They know RTF is back here, but they don't think, know where Hitman is. I think and that's they just spotted him. Hitman as well. I think a gunfight might have just went down. Oh, and Poncho gets caught on his way to the bomb, yeah, which is going to leave Slick in a very awkward position here. He has to now move out with the Krieg. I mean, he's going to have to go spotted. for this Chow, and RTF Cod is going to seal the deal, posting an 11 3 scoreline. I want to quickly yeah, look at state. these. You saw for a moment there. It was six to yep. two. Uh, that sounds horrific, but we are loading in to our map three. <laughs> also, can I also give full credit to uh, to Emergence for being on LAG and then purchasing the LA Gorillas? Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> that is a baller move right there out of Emergence. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's several players that have done this. I mean, this. he is rocking the ro the rocker skin right now. Is that the rocker skin or is yeah, that the LG one? He does have the rocker skin. We went to a third person. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that gun camo was LAG. It could be. He could have more than one. Oh, that's true. As we are currently, uh, all players are loaded in. Uh, there's the map. Yep. It finally started. Not quite sure what the delay was caused by there. But look at this push out of Atlanta Days. They're sending three towards B, and Mr. Person wins that one v one mid map. That's, that's big. A, that's a Emergence up fight. top, though, is going to pick off one, but we'll get naded out, actually. So B is going to be open season here for the side of Atlanta Days. Mr. Person will get caught, though, in mid. And the players from Atlanta are all actually getting taken down. There goes three. Last alive. It's going to be Swift, who picks two up, though. Staying alive here is going to find a third as well. Is going to one-man it all until Emergence comes in to just shut it down. Swift has swiftly turned the tide of this series is going to pick up those kills rather qu swiftly okay that's enough no more swift fun <laughs> on the b site and you're going to see exotic now trying to make sure that this b capture doesn't go down look in that close corner isn't going to realize that that player is actually pretty far out i don't know if poncho was expecting much cover from the, the pool chair there but it does get taken down eventually two players currently on a two ticks currently on b this is looking pretty good right now for the side of Atlanta. However, they are down by two lives. Yep, very good, Mr. Person. I mean, it is going to be here. That it is going to be a cap for A. So Atlanta Dazed will take A. There's going to be a minute on the clock. And LAG is going to have to set up. I mean, they're in pretty good positions here. Number one, Swift is going to sneak all the way around the back. And I don't know if they're aware of this. I mean, the fact that Exotic spawned over in laundry with somebody there should have told them that as swift is actually going to hog on to the point as emergence is going to be set up down here i mean he can't see anything he's going to get the cut off here but there is going to be a player on towards b that will go down yeah and emergence actually did pick up another one on a six streak right now needs to get that kill is going to back up poncho but poncho is going to win it no streaks i don't believe for emergence that's a pretty big kill right now coming out of Exotic, holding this mid-kitchen 
Oh, he gets the second one on the slick oh as well. I didn't think he was going to pick that one up. I thought he was too weak. Um, apparently, that was all the health he needed. As he gets that, I mean, you can see the players from Atlanta are sending up through mid. They're going to hit start hitting the kitchen. Exotic is still here. As well, Mr. Person is going to fly through the window. LAG is going to fall a couple here, but it's Emergence in Tiki who had to make a play. Gets one. Gets taken out. All of the players on LAG spawning far out. 7 to 11 is the life count. I didn't mean to rhyme it like that, but Atlanta Days is going to get both those zones captured. And that is a 1-0 round count right now for the side of the Atlanta Days. So they're going to go up in this control. So yeah, Atlanta, lots of fans in the chat today. Glad to see them out in full force here. As Atlanta, yeah, takes the first first one, 1-0. One and now we're going to see what LAG is going to do on the offense. And they're going to four-man B as well. So, the, I mean, the I mean, it's all going to be on Swift here. He's going to get caught in the open with four gun barrels. The poor guy never stood a chance as down he goes. Slick, Slick just saw one player walk by, shoots at him, saw a second shot at him, saw a third, and was just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to head out. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go back a little bit here, but I mean, oh, that was a big chow there from RTF COD. Picks up one, but it is gonna get dropped. Mr. Person in the back, or excuse me, from the front. I thought he was at back court, but no, apparently not. But that is gonna be one tick into B. Into B. Oh, exotic, that timing. I am so sorry that just happened. Swift gets around top art, needs to get taken out rather quickly in order for LG to continue to push, but we're gonna see a couple players go down. Uh, right now, this is looking uh, really, really good for the side of Atlanta Days. Only one tick on B, no real map control anywhere for LAG. We're going to see now one player that's going to be Emergence trying to hit over out towards B. Does get taken down by Swift. Hitman just trying to stay alive. This is this is looking tough right now. Atlanta Days are having... They, they have LAG in the palm of their hands right now. Yeah, I mean, you look like look at the position of the players from Atlanta Days. Look how far pushed Swift. up Swift is. Swift, Swift is just running just right through garage. them here. Yeah, I mean, they're just now realizing he's back there, it looks like, as a few of them have died and the comms are coming through. Swift is still making his way around here, but Slick picking up another two kills. As, I mean, there you go. The push is going to come in towards B, though. They're all going to spawn on the other side of the map. So, I mean, Mr. Person is Slick racing over here. You're going to see if they can catch these players out unaware. One's going to go down, too. So there's a trade. Poncho and, or is going to be reinforcing here. As down go all the players from LAG, but they're going to hop right back towards A, so... There you go, the back and forth ping-ponging here that we were talking about. With 14 seconds to go, they really need this cap. Yeah, they need this cap real badly, but it's, like you said, 14 seconds isn't the concerning part. They're going to have a minute to work with once this capture comes through, an extra minute, rather. But if this capture isn't, isn't going to come through yet, Mr. Person getting on there to contest a little bit, you're going to see Slick again, last one alive. There's the capture, but look at that! No respawns remaining on the side of LAG. I mean, 4 to 13, a heavy deficit. And I did hear that LAG was thumped on this map last week. So this was Atlanta Days' map pick. So looking to see if LAG can kind of find their footing here. But right now it's going to be Exotic in a 1v13. And uh, Atlanta is going to go up to an early 2-0 here unless Exotic pulls a miracle. Um, I, I want to say it's probably not going to happen. Uh, uh, but you never know. Streaks, brother. No, not going to happen. <laughs> and uh, down he goes. Yeah, you know, uh, just a difficult round there out of the side of LAG. They couldn't really ever get the control that they wanted. They are going to fall, not due to captures, but due to round counts. Uh, Atlanta just too strong on that defensive push. Uh, for LAG, and, it, and now it really comes down to this defensive hold from LAG. This is for the map, obviously. Yep, I mean, series tied 1-1 one, one right now. Atlanta dazed up 2-0 in the control. As we're going to have Slick is going to start off mid. Nate is going to come flying through, as this was a... It's a bit different of a push than what we saw on the last offensive round, but RTF caught is going to be pushed up. Exotic comes up with another kill. As the shots are just going all down on the side here, out towards ring. 
But it does look like LEG is going to queen them all up. That's three down for Atlanta. And LEG has players over here towards B to deflect this push. Yeah, so while that round was getting started, I did some quick maths. LEG at the start of that round had 41 kills and Atlanta Dazed had 49. Obviously, some kills have gone down since then. It looks like it, LEG is trying to bring that life count back together. But what you really need to see right now is... I guess LAG has just decided to forego the A site as there is going to be three players from Atlanta on it. You don't want to give up lives if you don't have to, but what you really, really can't afford right now is to give up too much map control. This is so, so crucial. They have two minutes to work with, does Atlanta. Down by five lives, but this is looking really, really tough right now for LAG as they are just falling to pieces right now. That's another coming in for atlanta mr person oh, gonna win goodness. that's a tough gunfight to take and that look at the control no pun intended look at the control lag can't get past kitchen there's three on the point oh my goodness swift is just cleaning them all up yeah that's it that's, a three that's it that's the map i was gonna say um <laughs> like the kills didn't matter that much right because the overtime rules are now we're now using is for uh ticks right so the kills matter significantly less now i guess you could say Okay, well, um, th thank you for making my work feel appreciated, Gio. Don't um, worry. I, I appreciate the stat line, knowing that they have no RTF caught has been flipping uh, between the Krieg and SMG. Exotic has been running SMG. Emergence is running every SMG there is. <laughs> but here we go. LAG going to start on the preferred side of Moscow. Right off the rip, it's just going to be four players running down mid. You're going to have the courtyard fight coming out that is going to be Hitman heading over there. Look for Hitman to have a big regain map here as Poncho's gonna find, or Swift will find first blood and second blood. You know, I, I really like the Poncho's been sticking with this MP5. It Again, it really isn't the big meta gun. You're gonna see the 74U. It, I, I don't even know if the MP5 really has too many advantages over the 74U when it comes to this game, but really appreciate the Poncho's just, you know what? This is my, it reminds me of uh, that scene from Full Metal Jacket. This is my gun. I will die for this gun. This is I love this gun more than I love my wife. So, <laughs> seems like Poncho just really holding on to this thing. Uh, you're gonna see the fights for spawns more important right now than the fight for the for the first hard point, as LAG actually gonna lose those fights. They did spawn, I believe, on this side. If I'm not mistaken, Shio, correct me if I'm wrong there. But emergency yep, they did gonna be here. the only player left alive here. But finally, some help gonna come in. There's some kills going down. Atlanta days kind of getting broken from a little bit of a pinch there. A lot of the LEG players coming from that apartment side. Uh, but they're going to spawn so far. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. They're just going to spawn Never right mind. there. They have the Atlanta days is pushing through apartments, mid and street. And where does LEG spawn? Not P3 like they probably should have. They're going to spawn just back PD. Sure. Uh, yeah. You know what? That, good that was an interesting for LAG one. there. Yep. Yeah, Poncho does seem like LAG knows that Poncho's here, and there you go, yeah, Hitman was waiting for him, as LAG is just locking down all of his time right here. Atlanta is going to give it up, unless Mr. Person has anything to say about it. He picks up two, but that's going to be it. He will drop a third. Atlanta, or LAG wasn't in the hill, will finally slide in. Hey, Shio, how much time is left on the hard point? Ah, uh, you know, five seconds. Where's the rotation? Happening right now. It just LAG. started. LAG not rotating <laughs> early again. I mean, Atlanta, to be fair, rotated pretty darn early. It's hard to rotate earlier than that. But LAG just nowhere near that on the map. Swift is going to push up. And this is going to force a back lobby spawn. Atlanta's going to get at least 40 seconds on this hard point. I'm calling it now. LAG, they are... Not only did, are they starting so far away, but look at, look at the positioning. Swift picks up those two kills, is on a four streak. So that means that LAG can't come through mid. They're trying to push from the front, and that's not going well. They can't, so they either have to push all the way around street, or they just give up. And look at this, they're, they're giving up. There's 40 uncontested seconds for Atlanta days. They're probably going to get the last 22, unless something dramatic happens right now. Yeah, well, I mean, that I would That is wouldn't... why you cannot afford to rotate that late. Yeah, I mean, this is a map. To be fair, Atlanta was very early set up, but I mean, if you rotated it early, you had at least one more break chance in there. Yeah. Instead, uh, not the case. Three They're all going to go down, but actually, yeah. LEG is actually going to hold this in original time, so after giving up a full 60 there, 
They're looking to try and do it on their own, but I mean, Atlanta Dazed is actually split spawning Poncho in the back. We'll get caught. Yeah, that's actually, that was another three dead there for the side of Atlanta Days. They are going to get split spawns. Only one player left alive on the bus, and it looks like RTF is going to be ready for it. And I do believe with the death there from Exotic mid-map, LAG is going to recognize that three players from Atlanta is going to be coming from that globe side. We're going to see now, this is where the this is where the scrappiness of the hard point kind of is going to come in. As there's trades happening left and right, going to see a little bit of contestion coming in. Mr. Person's going to push. And you're going to see this maybe you know, 15 seconds left on the clock. I don't really see too much of it going either one way or another. But Atlanta Day is looking to prove me wrong yet again. Hold some 10 seconds or so. Going to be up by a little under 20. Yeah, I mean, the rotation is going to come through. Mr. Person is going to be all the way in the back here. Faced with two players coming his way. LAG nowhere near the hill really right now. As they're not, well, they're going to pick up one. That's going to be RTF finding Big Foo. But, I mean, right now, LAG, you got to work towards that back spawns. you got to break into the hill. They're going to get one in. RTF is going to be here. He's going to spot this player in the corner. The trade is going to be there. Original Hitman will chime back on a swift, but will get traded. More trades are going to show up in your kill feed. Exotic on the flank is going to put the shots into one player. LAG will pick up the hill. And look where emergence is. I, that's Mr. What I was Person gonna might say. think he's I... safe up there. I, I am loving watching just that number two arrow on the map. I'm loving watching Emergence play. Emergence is playing like gosh darn karma right now. Every time you look at Emergence, he is doing the right thing. He's holding the right lane. He's pushing the right spawn. He's rotating at the right times. And you're going to see, yeah, not going to get that kill right now. It's a pretty tough gun fight to take. Even with a Krig, it's hard to just see people that far away. But you're going to see... A Atlanta Days, yes, they had control of the hardpoint for the moment, but you're going to see Exotic come in, get one, Emergence gets another. They're going to be stuck in that little apartment, that bomb site area right now, and they're spawning out gold. This is a great... That was all due to one play, and that play was from Emergence, pushing around, getting behind players, and getting that kill. So, so crucial, getting those spawns. And that's yep, why look. you rotate early. Yep, and again, I mean, you are going to have... Well, Atlanta is going to be knocking on the front door. They're going to find a lot of the kills here. It's going to be up to Hitman. Trying to hold the line here from the front is going to get taken down though. Emergence from up top is going to provide support, but it's not going to matter. RTF COD will pick up all the kills. LAG Atlanta Day is going to rotate. And look at this. LAG is rotating before the 10-second yeah, mark. Before the 10-second mark. There was about 15 seconds left on the clock, and they are finally going to rotate. This is a pretty similar situation to where they found themselves last rotation. There's not. A, they're exactly tied. They're going into a money hill, and Atlanta Days is extremely set up, except for this time they have better map positioning. Swift with two health is going to stay alive. Original Hitman is going to be hitting around the back, so that's going to come in for a kill right there. Big Foo going to take down one in response. They are still controlling the spawns, is Atlanta Days, so Emergence has to be wary of that on a four streak right now, on a five streak right now, maybe looking for a six, and LAG has broken the hard point within the first 15 seconds this is so so crucial Shio. this is money time this is a hard point that they didn't get a single point on last time and what have they done they broke early they're holding the spawns emergence is on a streak this is looking good yep swift is going to come in from the back that's actually gonna be three that's down from lag oh, that's all dead so lag is going to get broken but they did pick up critical amount of time they didn't give up a full 60 and that is absolutely massive as well. Poncho is going to pop out the front door or out of the rabbit hole. Hello. There's going to be two for him as the new hill is going to pop. And Atlanta Day is going to be in possession of this early hill time. But you're not down 40 points like you were last time. And that, I think, is going to be very critical here for LAG because you're playing catch up the entire time and then you give it all away, right? Yeah, going into that hard point, it was tied at 132 apiece. It was around 160 to 150 something. And uh, you're going to see it's tied again. And LAG is actually going to not take the lead. I spoke, I was about to speak a little too soon there. It's the lead change. You're going to finally see it. Uh, I'm absolutely just, I'm much happier this rotation than I was last rotation, Shio. You're seeing LAG play a lot smarter. You're seeing them take the gunfights that they should. You're seeing them rotate when they should for the most part. And you're seeing some really strong plays right now out of all these guys. Swift is 24 and 15. Again, having a monster of a game. There's another one. There's another one. Don't do it, Swift. Don't do it. Gets taken out by the nade of Emergence. 
173 to 174 is the score going into this third set of rotations here. Shio, are we going to a map five? I think this is going to be very dependent on uh, on, on how this rotation yeah. comes through right here. I mean, you want to see basically emergence. Watch what emergence does here and see if he gets into the back. If if they flip these spawns then I think we are going to a map five. So we're going to have to wait possible. and see how this ends up going here. As a, well, the... fiend, but, oh, please, emergence, just go, just hit through. Don't, don't hit eskies, don't hit eskies. No, he's hitting eskies. 20 seconds left on the clock. What LG needs to be very cautious of is, yes, there's only, you know, it's 200 to 182. So it's not like you're down by more than, you know, you, you don't have to worry about getting a full 60 on the next hard point to, to win the map but what you do need to be wary of is atlanta days they're set up for new and they can win it on this and this is the hard point where you can hold a full 60. this is a hard point where lag almost held a full 60 the one of these times around so it really comes down to this opening push here to go down on the side of atlanta days that's two on the side of lag as well only one player left alive it's gonna be original hitman and he, he can't really do anything he has to wait for his teammates to come through and they're finally going to get Atlanta just, off the hard Swift point, got they're full down by before he died. Yeah. That's three dead. They can still win it. They can still win it. And here comes a streak to make sure it's a little bit easier. Going to see Swift doesn't really know where to do that, where to put that. So he's going to put it outside the map. And LAG with 10 seconds away from being eliminated. You're going to see the artillery killing the spawners. This might be it, Shio. We might have jinxed it just a little bit. Atlanta Day is going to hold. 50 points on that p2 and that's gonna be the win they're gonna win this series three to one lag's playoff dreams have come to an end yep that is gonna be it lag going huge as the yeah i mean swift with a massive performance here on this map as he goes 